Большие города в эпоху изменения климата превращаются в печи. Именно мегаполисы подвержены наибольшим рискам, связанным с глобальным потеплением. При огромном скоплении автомобилей, малом числе фонтанов и зелени, лето в городе – вызов для стариков, детей и наиболее уязвимых слоев населения. Можем ли мы сделать наши мегаполисы прохладнее? How do we design our public spaces and how do we make sure that the buildings have uh, are uh, better insulated, thermally insulated to protect the people inside. But generally bringing temperatures down in cities by using special types of materials and technologies, but also nature, 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 and water in the surface to bring temperatures down. We should keep air conditioning like medicine giving it to people when they really need it and really keeping it at minimum use. Любая задержка с осуществлением мер по охлаждению городов чревата дальнейшим обострением ситуации. Эксперты призывают к немедленным действиям. First thing keep what we've got and the second thing is to try to introduce more uh, nature and blue areas into cities. And a lot of our tarmac in cities is also very dark. And the more darker surfaces that we have in cities, the more heat they will absorb. We could start by just painting our roofs white. That could be in the form of green walls, green roofs, small street parks, shaded trees. We can think about depaving, uh, so removing some of the pavement that we have in our cities. Actually introducing blue areas into cities can be a bit faster than growing the nature that we need in cities to support us. В Мальме, Париже, Милане, Барселоне и Лиссабоне уже действуют меры по охлаждению городов. Но работы предстоит немало. Эксперты предостерегают политиков от бездействия.